All right, hello and welcome to Slew's Land Cave. I'm Slew, and today we are going to be the first in the series, or be doing the first in the series of Let's Play videos featuring classic Macintosh titles. And uh, today we are going to be covering Armor Alley. Um, I got a little sealed copy of uh, one of the the box that was distributed in there for you. A little helicopter combat on the front, but perhaps more interesting on the back is the. It's a little shot of just like a mother and son playing it over the network at home, which there probably weren't a lot of people back in the uh, early 90s when this game was released. Uh, they had multiple uh, computers to play on, but pretty cool. It does feature up to uh, four-player combat. We are just going to be doing solo campaign missions today. Um, but yeah, I'm going to read just a little bit off the box here. Uh, just to show you off the uh, marketing uh, strategy here. Armor Alley is hot, and it gets hotter with every battle. Through the rattle of machine guns and a searing flood of napalm, your job is to lead convoys of equipment and men through the enemy's line and destroy his base. To succeed, you must keep your wits about you despite the constant explosions and gunfire. Very uh, serious stuff. Kind of cool. And uh, one little more bit. Last, uh, last one, uh, I promise. The games can be suspended, saved, and resumed, giving you time to recover mentally before pressing on to the final goal. Because the ability to save your game was uh, apparently a uh, key marketing bullet back in the uh, early 90s. Kind of cool. A uh, little box there. There's a last little peek at it for you. And then we're going to uh, jump into the gameplay itself. All right. So uh, here we go. Uh, we're going to start. We're going to switch the difficulty up here. We're going to juice it up just a little bit. You know, we're feeling just mildly confident. Not fully confident, but, you know, some mild confidence going on here. All right, so you control a helicopter, and the mission or the goal of the game, I guess, is to get your troops all the way from the left side to the right side. So you're doing two things at the same time. You're fighting the enemy and also ordering troops and reinforcements at the same time. So if I actually go to the controls here, do you show you a quick peek? There's all these different things that you can order. Um, Bands, missile launchers, tanks, temperatures, engineers, helicopters, or extra lives. Um, and so you, you want to get a van all the way from left to right. That destroys your base, but the missile launchers help defend your troops. Tanks, infantry are the troops that move across the side. So I'm going to order some. I'm going to order some tanks. And you hear that little bleeping noise. That's me summoning troops. And the tick. Not that tick. That tick is uh, trying to order troops too fast. Or a little timer. Alright, so as I'm doing that, we're going to move back across the side here and see if we can engage the enemy at the same time. Oh, I want to let this guy sneak through. It takes one, two, three licks to get to the center of the tank. And uh, there are some little gray infantrymen down here. We're going to come down, land, and uh, break the Geneva Convention and just blast them to oblivion. There we go. Um, I think this would probably be a lot more fun with two players playing against each other, or even up, you know, I know it does up to four, which would be pretty cool TB2. I do have one other Power Macintosh in here, so I might revisit this later. Um, you know, bribe someone into being my extra player. I tried to bomb that guy, and it was a complete failure. Now everyone will see that. Well, the ten people that see this video will see that. He's not going down, is he? That was, uh, that was a Superman. And then I have an enemy helicopter in here. Here's our initial combat. Helicopter to helicopter. Fire to heat seeking missile. Hopefully it takes him out. He's trying to run from it. Boom. That explosion means good. We were victorious. I do get a little bit of skipping. This is a Power Macintosh 75 100 that I'm playing on. It should be way more than powerful to handle this game, but something is not. Something's not clicking right somewhere. That's okay. It's still playing mostly fine. We are uh, pretty low on ammunition. I do have one more missile. We'll give that a... Ooh, that was a, that was a direct hit. 
and then I think I have to run all the way back to base. Which is probably the least exciting uh, part of this game. If you do need to refuel or rearm, you've uh, usually got a long flight ahead of you. I'll get to take a little peek at my squad there. I've got some tanks, infantry, and some vans moving across. And then here's the big squad that I summon. Mm -hmm. Almost there. Okay. We're going to fuel up and then uh, get back at it. You can see on the radar at the top, uh, sort of the whole enemy squad um, moving across and the helicopters moving across there. And the, the enemy helicopter blew up somewhere around there. me to fire that missile, one of my little missile launchers down here. Took the shot and took him out. Right, so how far back? I can run into this one because he's facing right. Facing right means he's friendly. Okay, I got the band right there. So we just need to get this squad across and see if we can achieve victory on the first mission on the next easiest difficulty for the greatest gaming achievement of all time. Oh, yep, I forgot. If you go too close to the enemy's base, they will start firing heat seeking missiles at you. So I also will have to go to bombs and machine gun for any of the uh, additional helicopters. The computer obviously gets an infinite number of lives, whereas you only get a couple. You can buy more lives right? with your funds. I think I've got like one more bomb left. I'm going to have to let my crew take out that tank. Can the infantrymen take out a tank? Let's find out. Oh shoot. I want that man to make Go away, helicopter, don't you take out that van? He managed to dodge the bomb or the missile. So it's just me. I think I can do this though. Let's do the kamikaze technique. Oh no fuel. That means I'm going there. He missed the van, though, so as long as nothing else pops up, uh, I think we're going to take the win in just a second. Come on, little van, make it. Boom! Okay. That was mission number one. The war games are on. You took the first enemy position, but now you need to work on the next battle. Okay, let's see if uh, anything new gets introduced here in round number two. So all my funds sort of carried over, so I can order a obscene amount of troops. I think I can get rid of the battle hints. There we go. Kamikaze to ride into that Zeppelin. Whoa! 
So there's a little auto turret that's new this round. Copper coming, I'm trying to take him out. But my heat sinking missiles just kind of suck. The bombs are, are better. They're a little bit more consistent, but I might not be the best. I guess we're going to go back and rearm since uh, the little auto turret seems to be an obstacle. Summon a, a van in that first crew, so we're gonna do a second round of guys here. All right, and we're back at it. Hopefully, my front crew can. Uh, Take out the auto turret, and then we can be a little bit more aggressive. <laughs> One little feature I forgot to show off earlier is the scenic background here, which is absolutely hideous, I know, but uh, they only had 16 colors to work with, so we'll forgive them for that. Oh, I moved right into the uh, enemy fire. We're going to turn off that beautiful background. What is... Oh, okay. We're going to let our tank go up and hopefully destroy that turret. And then we'll continue Sally Forth. Oh, just wanted to... I just wanted to get a little peek. <laughs> but he, uh... And murderized me. Alright. So we will slowly return... Yeah, the, the flying back and forth does create a little bit of a lull in the otherwise decently paced gameplay. don't even really know what hit me but I went down so now we gotta fly, fly all the way back again to support our crew which has finally made it past the halfway point there Cell dropped into my uh, little friendly fire action, I think. We're close to. <laughs> Some mild war crimes. Oh, I thought that was a direct hit. There we go. That's it, I was. Just trying to knock out as many of the uh, enemy forward troops. So that my squad can easily uh, make it to the end here. Oh, I am out of missiles and bombs. We're down to machine gun action. Oh, and they're taking my stuff out. Oh! Do I have another helicopter? Okay, this is my last helicopter. I can't buy another life here. I guess I'll do that. That's 20, 20, 20 buckazoids for another helicopter. And then we're racing down, hopefully for the last time. 
until we get the van across. And missiles chase the enemy helicopters on the radars. Kind of cool when you got nothing else to do when you're just floating back across the uh, level. Whoa! Oh, he just kamikaze me. Kamikaze me. Easy. Easily slaughtered me. Which uh, seems like it'd be bad for the computer, except for he respawns almost immediately on his side of the level, and I lose a life, and I don't have infinite lives like he does. Meanwhile, he's probably destroying all my vans. If he does, I will surrender to him. And he, he will call the computer a superior player. Oh! <laughs> no, that's recorded on camera. I wasn't even holding the mouse. I was just assuming that I would be able to make it across the level. But I ran right into the only Zeppelin. I see it. Oh. I think he's taking everything out. There might be a van left way down there. I guess we go down there and, uh, and see. Shoot him a couple times just because I'm mad at him. Actually, it'd be worse for me if he dies and respawns because then he'd be close to what might be a van down there. I actually don't think they are vans, but maybe. Oh, I have one van, two vans. Okay, this is good news. He is very forceful just flying right by them, and we did achieve victory despite it all. Okay. I think that's all the patience I have for uh, Armor Alley today. It's, it's got some fun game, gameplay to it, but a little tedious when you're flying uh, back and forth through the screen. I uh, like that. Uh, I, it might shine a little bit more multiplayer, so I might revisit it. I do have uh, the other Mac behind me to uh, play on. So uh, anyway, if you uh, like the video or you want to see some um, more cool retro Macintosh games, please hit like or subscribe. Otherwise, thanks for watching. Bye.